I'm Rick Party. It is time for Rick Party's Notebook News from Around the World. Some of them are actually roughed up a little bit. And in our communities. Uh, honestly, don't have a specific team. I'm actually just very happy to be back in the States. From my perspective. Regarding the case in Pennsylvania today, it's really a preliminary motion. It's a motion to, uh, to dismiss the case on technical, legal grounds. Uh, the, that case is a case that, you know, it, it's connected to the other eight or nine. And the case shows, uh, and we're prepared to call witnesses to demonstrate that a, somewhere around uh, 700,000 ballots were counted surreptitiously. Uh, they were counted in secret. The Republican, uh, the, the Republican uh, watchers, which is what they're called in Pennsylvania, were literally kept in, in corrals. They were then locked out. Some of them were actually roughed up a little bit. Rudy Giuliani, what happened to you, man? Wow. That's Trump's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. He was once one of the most respected mayors to some in New York City. Now he's fighting a losing battle in his attempts to get a federal court to throw out votes in Pennsylvania and other states that Joe Biden won. Rudy and Trump claimed that they were illegal. Giuliani told the court, I'm going to try to do it in my Rudy Giuliani voice. Melon ballots are exceptionally dangerous. We weren't allowed to observe absentee ballot counting. There were millions of absentee ballots that Republicans could not see. This is an outrage. They staged the election. That's right. So when I go to the poll, it was um, basically uh, they put us at 20 feet away. Uh, they said no cameras, no phones, can't take, you cannot take pictures. Uh, I was even harassed by some of the Democratic Party uh, poll watchers. And that is also recorded. And then um, next thing you know, it was six feet away. And they still would not allow us, allow us to see anything that was happening. Uh, we saw people working on, on the ballots, but we didn't know any names. We didn't see anything. We don't know if people voted uh, twice or three times. We didn't know if people were dead people were voting. This tool, I mean, this guy, I, I don't know where he came from. I mean, the only brother amongst Giuliani and his lawyer friends he said he and his friends were voting for Trump because of his 401k plans that he said he has and his his platinum plan. I'm sure that's why he voted for him as well. So here's my thing, right? Have nothing against Republicans at all. But your president, Trump, right, who's still the president right now, Joe Biden's the president elect. If Trump were going to do this, he would have already done it. Essentially, what Trump was saying to you, by my vote. And I'll make all your dreams come true. I mean, you got to think this isn't the case of every Republican person that would have run or even won this case. But Trump, I mean, come on, you can see this man's lies from a mile away. Come on, people, wake up. This has been a long time coming, especially since we had to deal with COVID. The NBA draft is happening today. Let's hear from LaMelo Ball. Uh, honestly, don't have a specific team. I'm actually just very happy to be back in the States. Man, it feels like I've been gone for a minute. <laughs> Definitely. Could play in front of my fellow people now in the States, so this is going to be nice. That's the baby ball, the mellow ball of the ball family. The NBA draft goes down tonight. He is said to be the number one overall draft pick. Kid's only 19 years old. He's 6'8", has a net worth of $400 million, including a $100 million deal with Puma, and he hasn't even signed to a team yet. But it all goes down tonight at 7.30 Eastern on ESPN. I can't wait to see the brothers draft drip. I'm Rick Party. That's all I got in my notebook for Rick Party's notebook. News from around the world and in our communities from my perspective.